We had three finalists present their projects for the annual Lorette Miller Rupee Award for Outstanding Community Service last month at the Affiliate Group Network annual meeting. The award is named for Lorette Miller Rupee, a previous Peace Corps director and staunch supporter of the autonomy of the agency. Under her direction, Peace Corps resumed programs in seven countries and by the end of her tenure had achieved a 50% increase in the budget. This award honors outstanding affiliate groups for projects that promote the third goal of the Peace Corps, strengthening Americans' understanding about the world and its peoples, or continue to serve host countries, build group spirit and cooperation, and promote service. I wanna thank all of our finalists, RPZ, RPCVs of Wisconsin-Madison, RPCVs for Environmental Action, and joint finalists, RPCV Alliance for Ukraine, Friends of Moldova, and Partnering for Peace, Friends of Peace Corps and Rotary, who showcased incredible work spanning multiple causes. Following an official vote by representatives at our affiliate groups at AGNAM, we have the final results. Next slide, please. It is my distinct pleasure to announce to you that the winner of the 2022 Lorette Miller Rupee Award is RPCV Alliance for Ukraine, Friends of Moldova, and Partnering for Peace, Friends of Peace Corps and Rotary. Congratulations and thank you so much for your commitment to service and Peace Corps ideals. Please join me in celebrating and viewing their presentation video. It is an honor to be here today on behalf of the RPCV Alliance for Ukraine to acknowledge the acts of service of fellow Rupi Award nominees, especially our partners, the Friends of Moldova and Partnering for Peace. More importantly, we are here to continue and strengthen that service at a time of overwhelming need. In February 2022, Vladimir Putin launched a full-scale assault on Ukraine, a country of more than 40 million people and a second home to more than 3,000 returned Peace Corps volunteers. Many of our friends and family members have fled, others are fighting to defend their communities, and some are no longer with us. Everyone who served in Ukraine knows somebody affected by the war. Driven by violent attacks on civilians, one in three people have fled, seven million are displaced internally, five million are scattered around the globe, and still 13 million are stuck, experiencing food and water shortages, but unable to leave because the roads and bridges are destroyed. When the invasion started, Ukraine RPCVs rapidly mobilized to assist our Ukrainian friends, family members, colleagues, and communities. We are raising awareness, sending money and supplies, engaging mass media, and directly assisting with transportation, housing, and money to survive. The Alliance has delivered $280,000 worth of trauma first aid supplies. Our new grant program, funded by sales of our Ukrainian cookbook, is delivering $20,000 to local humanitarian aid projects. And we've started a Uniting for Ukraine sponsorship initiative, connecting Ukrainians with sponsors so that they can find refuge in the United States. Every day, Ukraine RPCVs are connecting on a grassroots level to distribute needed resources and information. However, the initial wave of global attention seems to have crested while we're in this for the long haul. We need partners who are as well. Thanks to the leadership of fellow Ukraine RPCVs, including Rotary Peace Fellows like Shannon Carter, We've connected with Partnering for Peace to work on a global grant for humanitarian aid. And our good friends in Moldova have stepped up to take in refugees for which we are forever grateful. It is in the worst of times that such collaborations show their value. And we're glad to know that we're not alone. With that, let me introduce the Friends of Moldova. Since Russia invaded Ukraine, over half a million refugees have crossed the border into neighboring Moldova. Recently, more than a thousand come each day, with no end to the war in sight. This affront to world peace and stability has struck at the hearts of those affiliated with peace initiatives throughout Rotary and the Peace Corps. The Friends of Moldova, an official member group of the National Peace Corps Association, was founded as a passion project in 2020 by a group of returned Peace Corps volunteers, or RPCVs. Its mission was to support Moldovan civil and youth activists by offering grants to select projects, when the war in Ukraine began, however, the Friends of Moldova jumped into action. Some of us dropped everything to travel to Moldova and coordinate direct assistance to refugees, together with our local partners. Others of us back home in the U.S. have raised funds and spoken out. Together, the entirely volunteer-run Friends of Moldova has raised more than $680,000, one of the largest relief efforts ever undertaken by a Friends of group of returned Peace Corps volunteers. Carol Spahn, the director of the Peace Corps, flew to Moldova to help serve meals at the Friends of Moldova's first refugee assistance center. 
Moldova's president, Maya Sandu, visited as well. Our distribution centers have now directly provided free food, clothing, and sanitary items to tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees and assisted 175 other Moldovan relief efforts. Today, the Friends of Moldova spend $20,000 a week or more to stock our distribution centers. Money, not time or goodwill, has limited our ability to support the refugee community in Moldova. That's why we've been so excited to team up recently with Rotary International to obtain new funding. Rotary clubs from Oklahoma City to Raleigh, North Carolina have worked with RPCVs and the Friends of Moldova to secure disaster response grants from Rotary. Others will follow. Partnering for Peace, the RPCV Alliance for Ukraine, and the Friends of Moldova exemplify what is best about the Peace Corps and the RPCV community. Next, Partnering for Peace. In 2014, Peace Corps Director Carrie Hessler Radlett and Rotary General Secretary John Hugo signed a Memorandum of Understanding to promote their shared mission of service and sustainable community development. These leaders understood that Rotary and Peace Corps areas of focus virtually mirrored one another. The MOU was signed as I began my service in Peace Corps Georgia. Unaware of the global agreement, I connected with the Rotary in Tbilisi. It just seemed logical. Partnering for Peace is a nonprofit built to support the Rotary Peace Corps relationship through awareness, education, and outreach. It has supported joint projects stocking library shelves in PCV villages, administered health screenings, provided microloans, organized sanitation, water, and hygiene projects, vocational training, and conflict resolution programs align perfectly with Peace Corps' third goal. Our members plan several multinational Rotary Youth Leadership Award conferences for Ukraine. Our website documents over $1 million in joint projects. The war in Ukraine has brought Rotary and RPCVs together to aid Ukrainian citizens and refugees. Members have supported funding and assisted on the ground coordinating with RPCV Alliance for Ukraine and Friends of Moldova and Rotary Clubs around the world. Fundraisers, donations, Rotary grants, and local support are now the norm. As president of Partnering for Peace, I was recently asked to assist Rotarians in Paris who needed people to unload emergency supplies from Spain to Moldova. Friends of Moldova could assist with that. There is so much we can do together. Partnering for Peace is honored to play just a small part in connecting the Rotary community with these passionate MPCA affiliate groups. Congratulations. This is a very exciting uh, award. This group of uh, affiliate groups joins a, a very awe-inspiring history of recent awardees amongst our affiliate group group community. And we look forward to your nominations next year. Uh, please let Ari know if you would like to nominate a group for their excellent work. And we'd be happy to share those nominees at our affiliate group network annual meeting next year.